I think that if you look at um, the problems that uh, humanity can run into, there are huge numbers of them. I mean, think about it this way. Today, the population of the world is about six and a half billion people, going on to 10 billion in the, in the not too distant future. In the year 1900, we were probably half or less than half of our present population. In the 20th century, from the year 1900 to the year 2000, 100 years, we, the human beings, have killed somewhere between half a billion to a billion people by religious discrimination, by fighting for causes. I mean, you just, just think of the fantastic genocide that happened in China, for, uh, horrible things that happened uh, in uh, Russia. Forty-some million people were killed by Stalin. Uh, look what happened to the Jews. Look what's happening to other people in Rwanda and other places. It's a continuing thing. So we, unfortunately, have not learned to talk and live with each other in a constructive way. And religious or some kind of an ism comes always in between human beings. And killing is the net result of it. Uh, today, we are talking about many, many other subjects that could lead to uh, destruction of humanity. Uh, nuclear bomb is one of them. Uh, the matters pertaining to the atmosphere is yet another one. The increase of the population is a third one. The education of people is a fourth one. They can go on and on and on. And in going through all that, I think that humanity is now beginning to turn a little more positive than it has been in the past. A little more positive. Not as positive as I'd like to see it happen. And our ability to take care of the environment, although it looks like a hugely difficult task, and in the process of trying to, human trying to save humanity, look at the number of animals that we have killed and are under destruction every day of the week. Uh, but I think that the creativity of the humans and the innovation and capabilities that we have could easily lead us to a positive side of that coin. But it's going to take a hell of a lot of concerted effort and leaders of various countries learning to talk to each other instead of fighting, work together, is probably the only answer. And we're beginning to see a little bit of that, but there will be faults. We'll see that in the, in, the, in the future. People will go in very crazy. Look what the Taliban is doing. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it's horrible. They're destroying people for no cause whatsoever. And similarly, other things will emerge. But I think we are beginning to learn to handle this thing. Doesn't matter what religion you are, what color you have, we are basically human beings, and we have to learn to live together. And you know, the interesting thing is that most of the prophets of all, all, all over the world have always said that, but we never follow them. 